Hello, I'm Dr. Levon Hayrapetyan, a business professor at Houston Baptist University. In this uh, short uh, video, I will demonstrate how to construct a regression tree in analytic solver and how to use it for prediction. Uh, the data which I will use, the data file is called Optima Standard, is, it's in Blackboard, and I, I already opened that for, file. And everything which I will do just in a few minutes is written, you can repeat it from Appendix 9.4. There is slight difference at the end. I describe this in details and I'll do that in Excel. And the whole idea is that uh, the, in, uh, the steps described in the index, appendix, they just create a, uh, the regression tree and stop there. I added two more steps instead of just creating and finishing the job, we create and then use that uh, um, regression tree for prediction. Eventually, that's the ultimate goal uh, for, uh, for using uh, regression trees to create the tree in order to be able to predict values of new observations uh, from new observations based on the regression tree. And I already created a new set of uh, observations. It's in file new data for regression tree. These are made up examples, observations, and for this we will use the uh, regression tree to do the prediction. Now let me switch to Optiva standard file. This file, as you remember, this is the same file we use this for different purposes as well. If we, you can see that we have 43,000 plus records in here, in this file, about the customers, which means 43 plus customers, 43,000 plus customers are presented here. And for each customer we have several information, the same type of information. Loan default, average balance, age, and so on. I want to, uh, to emphasize this, the last column, the last variable which called partition. Thing is that this data file is already partitioned into training, validation, and testing sets. And this last column under the variable partition, it specifies which observations are in, in which, in which observation is in which set. So we already have partition, but remember this name, we will use this name to tell analytic solver that this data file is already partitioned. Now let's actually the, create the regression tree. So we'll go to data mining. We want to create a regression tree for prediction. Regression tree is for prediction. And we'll click regression tree. Then make sure that data range is correct. Yes, it looks correct. And then we will select those variables which will be used. And I'll use college also. Uh, these are the variables which will be used uh, as an input variable, selected variable. Uh, and will be used in prediction process. Then the, the goal in this uh, regression tree to, is to be able to predict the average balance. That's why average balance will be my output variable. I'll select this and come and click here and it will open right here. So this is my output. Then I'll go to next. And the rest which I will do is very similar with what I did with the classification tree. So I will click on partition data and here I will check partition data and I will say that the, use the partition variable because it's already partitioned and I have to specify which variable should be used and it's the variable called partition and we'll click done. This records, I will select default, which is 1000 in this case. I will tell to prune the tree because if we don't prune, it will be, it, then tree will have 43,000 plus leaves. It will be actually a huge tree. So we'll prune and then 
tree for scoring will be, we will use base prune tree for scoring. Uh, I'll check, this is very just default checking. I will keep default uh, maximum number of levels as seven and I'll click next. <clears throat> Here in this area, we have to specify which reports do we want to see to get. I just checked summary reports for all three sets, training, validation, and test. And this is where the, the um, appendix, if you follow appendix, then appendix says click finish. And then they will create a tree and nothing else will happen. But I don't want to finish here. I don't want, I want to use the tree which will be created for prediction. That's why I will click in worksheet and I will tell, I, will, I have to select where is my new data located. As you remember, I have a separate file for that. And so I will click right here. And the, that file is new data for regression tree. So I will select that file. And now one more last thing, I have to match names in my new data file with the original data file. Since I use the same names, there will be no problem with matching. I'll just click match by name. And names are matched and finish. So Analytics Solver created several tabs, new tabs. And so, these are the errors, lots of information. This part is not important for you. You can look at these three tabs, which is uh, training scores, er scores error. Like these are the, er the different types of um, accuracy or errors uh, calculated for three types of sets. But the most important thing which we are interested here is, and that's what as a user, Event you will be interested when you are using analytic solver or any other uh, any other software to do data analytics so you will not go into all details uh, all the math behind it but as a user you should be able to understand what's the output what was your ultimate goal and uh, how and the ultimate goal here was to predict average balance for new customers and this is what we got under new score I had 15 new customers and this average balance for those new customers were predicted based on the regression tree created by analytic solver. This concludes my short video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.